Hey guys, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. Uh, fair week is finally over. Uh, it's Monday after the fair. Um, I'm getting ready to go up and get the camper out of the camper area, which might be a task because it's been raining for, uh, I don't know, maybe eight hours, it seems like. Um, and that place gets really, really muddy up there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some clips of the fair while I go get this camper, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Porky. It's home at the fair. Right? Yeah. Porky. It's making friends with that other pig, huh? I don't know, we shaved ours. We shaved ours.
All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the footage of the fair. Um, some things about it. Uh, the pig show that you did see, that was the showmanship pig show. Um, the market the market show was uh, the previous to that. I couldn't get enough uh, footage on that. Got a few pictures, this and that. But uh, it was super hectic. Being the first year, I wasn't sure what to expect, and the judge was going super fast. So I didn't get much footage of that. Uh, got some of the rabbit. She was the only one in her class, so, you know, she got first, obviously, but uh, the pig, um, Wyatt got fourth in his class, which I thought was really good for his first year, and they did good out in the ring, basically the showmanship class. He did the same thing in the ring uh, for the market class, but uh, as far as the horses go, uh, both the daughters did really good, got a bunch of first place. Uh, my oldest daughter, she got, uh, you've seen all those trophies behind her. Um, she got a, a bunch of state uh, high points and stuff like that. And she also won the versatility class, which is a um, bunch of classes, showmanship, English, um, Western, all kinds of different, even contest. It's a bunch of different classes. They gotta go through it. And uh, they, they have tack changes between classes. So they get to have two groomers out there with them and it's a probably a four or five hour class kind of all together but you're showing a bunch of different classes and you're judged on all of them then at the end they do an overall point count and she ended up winning so she did she did really well so they were both riding the same horse um the, the oldest this horse just isn't ready to take to the fair yet um still needs a little bit more training so overall the fair was a success um, other than the heat, the heat was horrible, but uh, that's okay. I mean, you're either gonna have heat or you're gonna have a lot of rain. That's just the way the fairs go. But anyways, but up here, all we got left in the pig barn are our two uh, feeders here. They'll go October 4th. And then I'll be it for the pigs. We won't get pigs again until March or April next year. Um, that'll, that's when we usually get our show pigs and I think my oldest daughter wants to do show pig next year, so we will have a barn full. So this side of the barn, all the way up through here, we're gonna tear all this stuff down and get the floor poured and get pins over on that side. So we have a lot of work ahead of us to get this barn completely finished um, before March of next year. Uh, the lumber prices are starting to go down, so I definitely will start doing quite a few more projects in the carpentry side of this this channel so but that's it <clears throat> for the fair and um like i said got my camper out of there so i'm done up there i gotta go up there one more time just to grab some pack boxes and that's it fair is done for uh 2021 but uh hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe all right guys i'll catch you on the next one